Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. That's me. G'day. Well, what the t-shirt says, guys, we can't fix it. No one can. So this one here was leaking. This broke off on the old one. Now the older models had all different fittings on there, and they're absolutely atrocious. But this model that we seen in at City Hardware yesterday, it was uh, quite easy. So I said to strip the old one down, get all the old goo off, and uh, I told us that the hand basin was thicker on the base. So the, it's quite simple that this lines up with a washer under here, and then this sits down. This has a big washer up under here, and then this pulls up, and you put a screw down through the middle, which joins into this one here. But of course, the base was too thick. So I had to go and get, I got a nice self tapper, which was um, another two inches longer, and I put that on, and look, it works perfect. Absolutely perfect. So no problems. I'm very happy with that. And even this part here, look, nice and big, that fits in the pipe. The old one used to have to have a rubber grommet inside, then push this into the rubber grommet. So I'm very pleased with this system. Very pleased. Very, very, very pleased. So I got that one done. Morning, Sash. So I got that one done. Got to cut, cut up all the bacon some more. Oh, hello, I. Morning. Morning. G'day. G'day. Bye-bye. Right, so I got that one done, and then that hot water, the hot water system, the um, adapter, reducer on the pipe work, that had a big crack down through the side of it. So we wanted to get more, so we ended up got, I was after a brass one, which was here. The other one was like this, just like this type. So I was able to get this one here on, and I've got hot water again so yesterday was a cold shower i'll tell you what that made me balls shrink up i tell you i thought i was gonna have to sit down and piss for life but um i noticed there's a bit of water this morning i don't know where it's coming from probably from the drain system underneath i don't know so uh i've got that done so check for the the um drain that's done tick for the hot water done now you want some bananas baby yes hi. you want some bananas Right, so I've got to stop what I'm doing on my side because Chick needs some banana and more corn. Because of the uh, rains, the goats have been, um, she's having to feed them more bran and more corn, more hammered corn. So, um, which, over the back of the maid's room, in it? Yeah. Okay, apparently there's one down here. Oh, yeah, there it is there. Okay, so she wants me to harvest that. Jeez, you know, I could make a separate video on harvesting bananas. Joke long. Joke long. All right, let me go get the machete out and I'll be back. Have a look at it now, because that won't be there in a minute. Right, oh, there you go. So remember, when you cut bananas, guys, don't cut them at the bottom, because they'll just fall down like a tree. And you don't want that, okay? So what you need to do, all you need to do is cut it up as high as you can reach. So what I did was just go in, go into the machete, and I just cut in like it is now, see? I do a couple of those and it'll just fall down nice and slowly like a hinge, like a hinge look. It'll just come down nice and slowly like a hinge, nice and slowly, and there you go, there's your bananas. Now they're not on the ground, and if you cut them too short, these will smash on the ground and they're all broken up. So what they do in the plantations here, it is one man does the cutting, and he knows exactly the height because he's done that for thousands of trillions and billions and billions of light years. And the guy will have a board that's padded with uh, inch padding on it type thing, a board that he'll actually have on his shoulder. And when this comes down, it actually comes down on top of his shoulder and he holds it. He cuts off the tail end and he walks it then to the um, processing area. That's how they do it, guys. Quite amazing, isn't it? Well, you learn something every fucking day on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. Right, let's get this knife out of here. Let's cut this off and give it the chick. Right, that's how easy it is. So I got the wheelbarrow underneath it. Chick came along and just went chop. And Bob's your uncle. There you go. Bob's your uncle, baby. Yeah. Alright, guys, I've got some corn to do now because like I said she used it all up. Ah, it's going to be a busy day I see today, guys. Busy, busy, busy day. Well, 
At least it's a sunny day so far. Can't complain with that. Right, so this is enough to keep it going for a few more days. So um, this is for the chickens, this is for a goat. So coming through with that second sieve on the top, it just takes those little crunchy bits out. The goats don't like them, they just like the straight powder. Straight powder, if they've got any little lumps in it at all, they just won't go for it. Weird shit, eh? All right, let's go and have some brekkie. Okay, so breakfast is out the way, now it's time to slice up the bacon. So we've got some, so I'm doing this nice and thick. I like the thick bacon on these ones here, but, um, <coughs> excuse me. But for one, I'm going to do them nice and I'm going to do some thin ones because that's what they require is thin ones for the hamburgers. So I'll try them out. But me, I like this size. Look at that. That is a beautiful size bacon. Beautiful size. So I'll get all this done. Then um, we can get into town to get our post for tomorrow. It's looking good, guys. Looking bloody good. Look at this. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Guys, make your own bacon. If you want a spreadsheet, email me down below in the description. I'll send you one out. Well, I got half sealed up, so it wasn't too bad. It's got the other one to slice up yet, this bastard. Slap my bum! Slap my bum, bitch! So, half kilo packs. There you go, look at that. They come good. These are the big, big square ones. I'll cut them in half, seal both ends. And uh, I use lots of these bags. I use them for me flowers, me sugars. Everything I pack down goes inside these bags. Right, let's move on to the next half. Right, finished. So, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags, half kilo bags. This one here is all the, um, you know, those end bits that won't fit through the slicer. These ones, we keep all these, they go into sausages, which go into quite nicely. And it's also got a small bit there. This is the part, it's when you run it through the first time and you don't get straight cuts, you get little half ones until it evens out. This is what I put into my um, chicken stuffing with the muffins, is this one here. So I put this into a smaller bag for the chicken stuffing. Still cook it up for breakfast if you want, there's no, nothing wrong with that. But uh, these ones, like I said, are nice thick slices, these ones here. So um, the next lot I'll do, I'll do thin slices for the customers, but um, I said it's, it's quite good. All right, I've just got to put the safe food handling stickers on them now. And um, I've finished. I'll be able to head into town. All right, guys, thanks for watching. It's been a busy morning. It's coming on to 9.30, and I've got things to do. So I'll catch you all later on. Thanks for watching. <laughs>